Here in New York, I'm Anne Marie Green. And I'm Vladimir Gutip. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. An escaped inmate is back in custody after days on the run with a former prison officer accused of helping him. How authorities track them down and what's next? Russia launches a series of missile attacks at key cities. How President Biden is working to get more help to Ukraine. Gas prices hit another record high in the U.S. as the markets plummet and inflation continues to soar with no relief in sight. Plus, it's primary day in Nebraska and West Virginia. Our Scott McFarland will join the stream with a look at the next tests of former President Trump's grip on the Republican Party. And Tyler Perry gives us a look at his new docu-series, Never Seen Again. Season one dives into the disappearance of two men. They vanished months apart 18 years ago. Both were last seen with the same sheriff's deputy, and their families want answers. Harry is trying to help. We miss him terribly. Okay. Please answer a heartbroken mother's plea. I tell you, it's really good. And you know, I like true crime stuff. You do. But, but often I, I get frustrated when there isn't an ending. The story, what happened to these men, is so fascinating and so disturbing, mm -hmm. he will be hooked from the very first Yeah, episode. and I think the thing that strikes me always when I see stories like this is why we haven't heard of these individuals, the people yeah. that go missing uh, until now, until someone with a huge platform like Tyler Perry decides to shine a spotlight mm -hmm. on those individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, our top story this morning, the 10-day manhunt for an inmate and the corrections officer accused of helping him escape is over after a dramatic police chase.